Good morning guys, officially day one in Melbourne. Uh, we got here very, very late last night and I didn't actually go to bed till about three or four o'clock in the morning. So I had a, didn't have the best of sleeps. Um, just wanted to get up fairly early still. Uh, but today we are gonna be going to the Arnold Classic Fitness Expo. And um, before we need to head to Coles just to get some breakfast out because we're actually staying in an apartment so it's all safe cap south cater I think it's this way um, so yeah we're just gonna get some try and get some oats and some fruit and things like that it's cool yeah. it's the metro center in Newcastle we made it Okay, so we just went to college, picked up some essentials, and uh, we're just going to go back and make breakfast, but it's like half past 12 now, and uh, we just conveniently walked past them now, so we have a glass of water here, this is what I've got. She's got... Just gonna eat this and then go back to the hotel and then we really get to the expo. Okay, so we are back at the apartment now. I'll just show you real quick what we got from Coles. Just got some oats, bananas, apples, a couple of protein bars, monsters, Gatorades, and some Greek yogurts. But real quick, Nando's in the UK is by far better than Australia, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The portion sizes, the flavours, everything's just better about well, the UK. Well, mine be almost bigger than what it was in the UK, just not as much. Not... Well, my chicken thighs, there wasn't chicken thighs, there was chicken thigh pieces, so it was like, it was like chicken nuggets, almost. But uh, yeah, Nando's UK is better than Nando's Australia. Are you excited? No. Why not? Because why would I be excited to go to, go to your like first this? fitness expo? It's not fun when you're a fatty. Oh, it looks horrible with that light on. It makes it really red. Your face, look. Put it on and look at your face when that's on. That doesn't look very good. I'm just embarrassed. Yeah, but at least you can see me. That's fine. Okay, so we are at the oh, convention center. Convention and exhibition center. That's the one. Uh, just got a parking ticket. I hope there's tickets you know we hope we can still get in there because it's like quarter past two it started at 10 and it closes at six we only want to spend a couple of hours in there to be fair just walk around see what it's about and uh, yeah see what's up so let's make our way inside
look like crap. Hi guys, Arnold Classic Expo. You've yeah. got a bag full of those yogurts. Yeah. I suppose well, you can do that when there's loads of you. Well, you can do it anyway. They're not going to say, you're not allowed anymore, yogurts. They're complimentary, but you're only allowed one. They're not going to say that. Okay, yeah. then, guys. So, the Arnold Sports Festival is done. Uh, I'll just sum it up pretty quick. It was only in there for a I think about two, three hours, and there we go. And it wasn't really what I expected. I kind of expected it to be like the Olympia Expo. Obviously, I've only been to two different expos. I've been to. Body... We haven't even got the sat nav on. I've Do you been know to. Where you're going? No, I've been to Body Power, and I've been to the uh, Olympia Expo. And it, yeah, it's just different to both. Like, body power is like really good. That was like not even half the size of body power. There was only like two or three main stands there. Then the rest of them were just, you know, if you've ever been to body power, then you know that the stands around the edges, they're just like the little crappy ones, which nobody really cares about. Sorry if you have one of them little stands. If you want to sponsor me, then, you know, feel free. Um, but yeah. That's uh, generally the case, and there was only like two or three major ones in the middle, like EHP Labs, SciTech Nutrition, and I can't remember the other one. But uh, there was only like two people there that I knew. One of them wasn't even in fitness, it was just Ty Lopez. If you've seen one of his many ads on YouTube, you know, I'm just here in my garage. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Got my Lamborghini, but you know what? You know what I care about more than this Lamborghini? Knowledge, or however, however he says it. Um, there you go. But yeah, then there's, oh, thank you. Thank you, my kind dear. And then the other person that I knew was Kai Green, who I trained with back in, I didn't train with him. <laughs> no, I, 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 I met him in in the gym in like <laughs> 2000, 2013 or 2014, can't remember where it was. But Why do you keep having your wipers on? I keep pressing the wrong thing. But yeah, Kai Green is such a such a sound guy, like he's so down to earth. It's, it's a very, he was hugging the people for like ages yeah, when Kai they came Green up. Kai Green is such a nice guy, honestly. I know there's a whole thing about the grapefruit, but you know, his uh, Kai Green's amazing. And yeah, that was literally it. So Ty Lopez and Kai Green, I didn't n even know who any of the other athletes were. Oh, you I keep go, putting those I? bloody wipers on you, <laughs> you? pressing the wrong thing. You want to make sure the tram doesn't come. Well, it's not, it can't when it's on green, can it? What's that car beeping what? for? Like, how fast are you supposed to pull away? That's Do you know she, what I mean? That's what she said. Shut up. Uh, what was I saying? Right, you just finished about Kai Green. Yeah, and what was I And you were on about the athletes that we didn't know anybody. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, so I, like, I honestly didn't even know anyone on any of the stands. I'm, like, in theory, they could be, you know, they could have quite a big following in Australia or America and I just haven't seen them, came across them or, you know, heard of them. Or it could just be, you know, some like fit chick on Instagram with like 5,000 followers and it's just like, I just post glute pics all day. And uh, now I'm on a stand giving out free samples, which I think that's probably the case. There were so many stands. I don't know if it's like that a body part, but there were so many stands when they're giving out like the pre-workout stuff like there was probably about yeah well that's usually what it is they usually do give out samples which i think it's you know it's weird giving but out pre-workout pre samples why there so many stands samples. though at it like uh, well, probably about at the end of the day, three an quarters of the stands were the well at an expo is 
you know, companies go to it to try and promote their company, that's why they give out free samples. But like, you shouldn't give out pre-workout free samples, which is just basically saying like, oh yeah, have this caffeine and then crash in four hours time. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we're gonna head back to the apartment, have a nap, because I need a nap, I'm tired. Then we're gonna train at Doherty's gym. We're gonna train at Doherty's 24 seven gym. And then we will be going out for a nice meal. And that'll just end the day. Then we should have an early night tonight. In before we go to bed at like 3 a.m. again. And Probably. No, we've I don't. We've done that don't, every day that we've wanna, been here. I want to go to bed early tonight. I want to get a good night's sleep because you know we're going to have a busy day tomorrow. Why? What are we doing? I don't know, but we're just going to have a busy day. No, I think it's that theme park in the beach tomorrow. Mm, not sure. Pretty but sure. We Isn't it supposed to be raining tomorrow? Probably, but we're, we are going to have a good early night tonight. We're going to go to a nice steakhouse. If it's not closed, and then we're going to have an early night. Yeah, we need to be leaving the. Gym. Okay, so just finished at Doherty's gym then. Uh, had a pretty good upper workout. Just quick summary of the gym. It is a pretty like stereotypical bodybuilder's hardcore gym. Um, but it's honestly like a sweat box in there. Like, there's no air con. There's a few fans, but let's be honest, fans in gyms, they, they very rarely work um, at keeping you cool. Um, so it's just very, very sweaty and hot in there. But uh, yeah, it definitely is like a hardcore gym. Like all the you know top bodybuilders, they've trained there. They always train there when they come to Melbourne. So I'm guessing there there was a few athletes training in there this weekend. Obviously being the Arnold Classic Expo and all that. Um, but right now we're just heading to eat. We actually bought the table, but we're running a little bit late. So. Uh, 
Now let's hope they still will let us in at this, um, what is it? It's kind of like a steakhouse, so we'll see if we can get some good food there because I'm ready for a good decent meal, but yeah, we'll see if we can get in there anyway. There's my steak anyway. Nice. Uh, don't have many words to say. The second time. Second time we've been to the Hereford Steakhouse, whatever it's called. And it's the second time they say they've closed the kitchen. Now I know we're going at a pretty late time. You know, we got there at half past ten. Our reservation was for ten fifteen. But the restaurant is open to till eleven thirty. We are not going to be eating for an hour. I don't see why you have to close the kitchen more than an hour before you close the restaurant. Like, why is that? I explained to the lady in there, look, we, you know, it, we ha we, it, we took a lot of time to um, find parking and whatever, and then we literally had to walk for a mile and then it was 15 minutes late and she's like, we're closed. So, very frustrating. Ended up actually getting a steak from McDonald's. No, it wasn't a steak, it was just a Angus burger meal, which we've had about 12 times now since we've been here. So, it's not good, but, um, and uh, I think we're gonna give it one more try tomorrow. Uh, try and go early, I don't know, 8, 9 o'clock. But I'm sure they'll think of another excuse as to why they can't serve us. <sighs> but, it's just so frustrating. But all dressed up from the gym to go to Macca's. That's McDonald's, by the way, that's what they call it in Australia. Not Mackey's, they call it Macca's. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here because we're going to go to sleep shortly anyway. So, hey you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please, please give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, linked in the description if you want to buy this watch. I'm only joking. Right, thanks. I'll see you later. Peace.